Hi students! It's another great way to learn mathematics. I am Ms. Siti Naima Andan, your teacher broadcaster for Mathematics 7. Today, I will teach you a new lesson in math. In this new normal, remember to stay at home, study, and together, let's be Makini and Matalino. Do you still remember our topic last time? Correct! We discussed about types of angles. To review, let's answer this activity. This activity is called, What Angle Am I? You will identify what type of angle is shown in each picture. Let's start. What type of angle is shown in the picture? Correct! It's a right angle. How about this one? Correct! It's an obtuse angle. And lastly, what type of angle is shown in the figure? Exactly! That's an acute angle. Since you already know how to identify types of angle, we are all now set to start a new lesson. But before that, let's have this activity. It is called Match Me. You have to match column A to column B. Column A is consist of soap, surgical mask, and virus, while column B is consist of vaccine, water, and a face shield. Are you ready to match it? Let's go! So, is match with? Correct! Water! Next, surgical mask is match with? Face shield! Correct! Next is virus. Virus is match with a vaccine. All these things match together. What do you think is our topic for today? Correct! It's all about pairs. Soap is paired with water. In this new normal, mask is paired with a face shield. And virus is paired with a vaccine. Our topic for today is all about ankle pairs. end of this video. You will identify and illustrate different kinds of angle pairs, which are supplementary angles, complementary angles, congruent angles, adjacent angles, linear pair, and vertical angles. And you will derive relationships of geometric figures using measurements and by inductive reasoning. We need to complete all the steps from complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair, congruent angles, vertical angles, and equis. Let's start with complementary angle. Two angles are complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. Let's have some example. We have angle of 30 degrees and an angle of 60 degrees. These are two different angles, but if you will add them, they will sum up to 90 degrees. Because 30 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, the angle 30 degrees and 60 degrees are complementary angles. Next, we have another angle of 40 degrees and another of 50 degrees. And if we add these two angles, 40 degrees plus 50 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, these two angles are complementary. 
Next, we have angle 1 and angle 2. Observe that angle 1 and angle 2 in a 90 degree angle. So if we add these two angles, we have measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary angles. Awesome! We are now done with the first step of complementary angles. Next, let's proceed with supplementary angles. Let us first define supplementary angles. Two angles are supplementary if their sum is 180 degrees. Let's have some examples. We have the first angle of 50 degrees and the next angle is 130 degrees. If we will add 50 degrees plus 130 degrees, the sum will be 180 degrees. Hence, these two angles are supplementary. Next, let's have these two angles. We have 110 degrees as the first angle and the second angle is 70 degrees. Hmm, if we add these two, we have 180 degrees. Therefore, these two angles are supplementary. And now, we have the third example. We have angle 3 and angle 4. Observe that angle 3 and angle 4 are in a straight line. And and a straight line has 180 degrees. So, if we will add measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4, that is equal to 180 degrees. Hence, these two angles, angle 3 and angle 4, are supplementary. Now, let's answer this problem. Angle A measures 56 degrees. Find the measures of the angles that are supplementary and complementary to angle A. Remember that the sum of supplementary angles is 180 degrees. Therefore, we have to subtract 56 degrees from 180 degrees. The measure of the supplement of angle A is 180 degrees minus the given angle A, which is 56 degrees. So we have 124 degrees as a supplement of angle A. Next, we have complementary angles. Remember that the sum of complementary angles is 90 degrees. So we will subtract 56 degrees from 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus 56 degrees is equal to 34 degrees. So the complement of angle A is 34 degrees. Nice! We are now done with the supplementary angles. Now let's proceed to adjacent angles. Let us first define adjacent angles. Two angles are adjacent if they have a common vertex, a common side, and no common interior points. Let's take a look at some examples. We have here angle 1 and angle 2. Observe that angle 1 and angle 2 share a common side and a common vertex, and they have no common interior points. Therefore, these two angles are adjacent angles. How about this figure? Observe that angle 1 and angle 2 in these figures does not have a common side and a common vertex. Therefore, these angles are not adjacent angles. Amazing! We are done with the adjacent angles. Now let's proceed to 
linear pair. Let's define linear pair. Two angles form a linear pair when they are adjacent and supplementary. For example, we have a 150 degrees and a 30 degrees angle. If you observe, these two angles share a common side and common vertex, and they have no common interior points. So, they are adjacent and supplementary. We can now conclude that this is a linear pair. How about this next figure? We have a 90 degrees angle and a 35 degrees angle. Observe that they share a common side and a common vertex. But, if you will add 90 and 35, this will not sum up to 180. Degrees. How about this one? We have an angle of 65 degrees and 115 degrees. These two angles do not share a common side and a common vertex. Therefore, these two figures are not linear pairs. Let's have another example. So we have here the given figure, we have angles 1, 2, and 3. And we have the points A, B, C, D, and E. A are angle 1 and angle 2 adjacent angles? No, because they have common interior points. B are angles 2 and 3 adjacent angles? The correct answer is yes. C. Are angle 1 and angle 3 adjacent angles? No, because they do not share a common side. D. Do angle 2 and angle 3 form a linear pair? Yes, because they are adjacent and supplementary. And lastly, E, do angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair? No, because they are not adjacent. Amazing! We are now done with a linear pair. Now let's proceed to congruent angle. Let's define what congruent angle is. Congruent angles. Two angles are congruent if their measures are equal. Let's have an example. We have angle ABC with a measure of 35 degrees. And another angle of angle DEF with the same measure of 35 degrees. Hence, we can conclude that angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF. And the measure of angle ABC is congruent to the measure of angle DEF. Very good! We are now done with the congruent angles. Now let's proceed to vertical angles. Let us define first vertical angles. Vertical angles are formed when two straight lines intersect each other. Their sides form two pairs of opposite rays and their angles are non-adjacent. Let's have an example. We have here two lines intersecting to each other. And upon intersecting, they form four angles which are angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. And angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. And vertical angles are also congruent. Therefore, angles 1 and 3 are congruent. And angles 2 and 4 are also congruent. 
Let's answer this problem. Angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles. If measure of angle 3 is equal to 4x plus 7 and measure of angle 4 is 5x minus 8, find the measures of the two angles. We have here the figure, two lines intersecting to each other and forming the vertical angles 4x plus 7 and 5x minus 8. Since vertical angles are congruent, equate the two expressions. So we have measure of angle 3 is equal to measure of angle 4. And then we substitute the given, which are 4x plus 7 and 5x minus 8. Then we will transpose 5x to the other side of the equation and positive 7 to the other side of the equation. And then we combine like terms. So we have negative x is equal to negative 15. For us to be able to make the negative x positive, we will multiply negative 1 to each side of the equation. So we have x is equal to positive 15 degrees. Then we will substitute 15 degrees to the given. Thus, measure of angle 3 is equal to 4 times 15 plus 7 is equal to 67 degrees. And measure of angle 4 is equal to 5 times 15 minus 8 is equal to 67 degrees. Good job! We are now done with the vertical angles. Now let's proceed with the last step. Are you ready for the quiz? Let's go! Angle RIB and angle BIF form a linear pair. The measure of angle RIB is 3 degrees more than twice the measure of angle BIF. Find angle RIB. I will only give you one minute to answer this. Timer starts now. Let's check your answer. Let x be the measure of angle BIF. So we have 2x plus 3 equals measure of angle RIB. x plus the quantity of 2x plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. And then 3x is equal to 180 degrees minus 3. 3x is equal to 177 degrees. So we have x is equal to 59 degrees. And then substitute the value of x to the given. Hence, measure of angle RIB is equal to 2 times 59 plus 3 is equal to 121 degrees. So the measure of angle RIB 121 degrees. Perfect! Awesome! We made it all the way to the top and Moy got his face shield. Where can we find angle pairs in our surrounding? We can find it in the hands of the clock, seesaws, and in the road. And this has been your teacher broadcaster for today, Miss Siti Naima Andan, giving you a quotation from Carrie Smith, 
that creativity arises from our ability to see things from many different angles. Huwag matakot, be a makinig and matalino. Bye-bye!